Crashing. Crashing with friends. This is Crashing with Friends podcast. Boing. <laughs> my name is Jackson. Wait. <laughs> my name is Jackson. My name is. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Kyle, Jackson, Caleb, Connor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Episode <laughs> 140. 140. For all the shorties. Oh. 140 for the shorties. Dude, Caleb. Yes, sir. Quick story. Oh, I like stories. I was driving by uh, the uh, gas, the uh, the Aldi that you like to frequent. Yes, I saw your car in the parking lot, dude. In Aldi's? Yeah. Okay. And I rolled up, and I this is maybe like two weeks ago, and I sat in the parking lot for about three minutes waiting for you to come out, <laughs> and I, then I was like, man, this is I can't be doing this. This is too weird. It was mine. It had a little crash with your friend sticker on the back. See, that's why it was weird. <laughs> because it, I didn't know. After about three minutes, I was like, man, I can't confirm that this is Caleb's <laughs> car. So I drove off, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah. I got the, uh, that's how you know it's mine. It's got the crashing with uh, friends sticker on the uh, bottom right of the, the back uh, door. Hell the, yeah. Uh, trunk door. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then I like scraped off the uh, R in Roper and uh, both R's. So it just says Ope. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, yeah. That's how you know it's mine. Crashing with friends. Oh. <laughs> Is that Aldi pretty good over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All Aldi's are, are pretty. Yeah. Aldi because the S is silent and also non existent. But yeah. All. All Aldi is good. <laughs> <laughs> Aldi a good time. Aldi real good time. <laughs> Aldi great. Aldi real great. Uh, Man, how's your week been, Caleb? Uh, whoo, it's been all right. This is first time I've gotten to really relax. You know, I uh, helping out Kansas City and Topeka is a lot of lot of just driving. It's I didn't realize how far Topeka was from here, and then I didn't realize how flat Kansas really is. And like, thank God the Kia has lane assist because I was not an in, in and out like, uh, but it was a. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of driving, a lot of working, but I mean, it was uh, it was pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty easy, so it wasn't too bad. I'm, I'm glad to be back here and not driving mm-hmm. and not yeah. working. Is and, you driving on the clock? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm always on the clock, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do get mileage reimbursement. I hope so. You know, like I better. It's not I hope. I better. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I uh, decided to not do as much free advertising for uh, for the company I work for. Because uh, I mean, like you know, like that's that's why I got this on right now. You know, like There's hiding, hope. hiding it because uh, you know they're not getting anything else out of me until uh, you know unless they pay me for it. So. Uh, Your body. That's right. It's my. It's my body. My choice. <laughs> yeah. And they sure I haven't know. given us any kind yeah. of gift cards yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty good week. Uh, excited for uh, uh, Sunday. You know. Excited for Sunday. And then uh, uh, I like the hot weather. You know that means uh, I got to go swimming here pretty soon. So I'm gonna enjoy doing that. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah, it's uh, my my week in a handbag. What uh What about uh, you, Jackson? Ah, uh, man, it's uh, been pretty chill for the most part. Uh, more Forge and Fire. <laughs> uh, just broke into, like, a new DLC for the Fallout 4 that I haven't played yet. It's, like, one that they just added with that update that they put in there. The so, next-gen update or whatever? Yeah, so I've been playing that. It's it's all right, you know? It's Fallout 4. My, mm. The thing that I like about that game is the settlement building. That's what I like. That's what I get into is like, all right, time for me to actually yeah. build a nice settlement and, you know, make it legit. Try to get all the settlements up to like 100% happiness if I can. Mm. It's impossible. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's literally impossible. They're fickle. But other than that, uh, playing a little bit more cyberpunk. Mm. Um, I know as soon as I get bored of Fallout 4, I'm going to just dive into cyberpunk. But... Yeah, that's pretty much been my time. Man, I feel like I was some. Oh yeah, I did watch something new 
Uh, I watched that show, Baby Reindeer. Have you seen uh, anything on that? I, I saw a few things yeah, about I, it. <clears throat> I know about it. Yeah. Yeah, well, for those who don't know, it's basically this, this dude, he gets like this girl that's like a stalker for him. Pregnant? No. <laughs> okay. No, she just, like, she just walks into a bar crying, and he's nice to her. He's like, like, you want to drink? She's like, eh, I'll take a Diet Coke. And he's like, she's like, I don't have any money. And he's like, eh, it's on the house. Right after that, immediately she's just, like, completely enamored with him. And then the Is more he good looking? Th- no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. Uh, okay. No disrespect. Not your okay. type. Not my bag. Mm. Mm. But, <laughs> okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, she's... Like, really, like, super crazy. Like, you find out, like, she's, like, stalked other people before. Aww. And one of them was, like, a police officer and stuff like that. So she's, like, she really doesn't care. You know, she, like, she'll just, she, she was full bore. But. <laughs> was he nice to her, too? Was he? Yeah, in the beginning. But eventually you get to, you get pushed to a point where it's, like, this is too much. You know? And then when you try to be, like, hey, we're, we're not dating. And she goes crazy, you know. I meant the police officer. Was oh, the he police nice officer? To, was he nice to her? And that's why she likes him? Uh, I don't know. You don't really find out too much no about No backstory on that, No dude? backstory mm. on that, bro. Okay. So just, right. you, you just find out that one of the victims was a police officer. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, it's pretty good for, like, the first, like, three episodes. And then on episode four, it takes a pretty dark turn and gives you like some more backstory on the main guy Hmm. and he's got a it's a fucked up story that involves a lot of trauma that I was like man why am I watching this show you know it kind of got to that point the where the first three episodes were really good and then I don't want to say the last episodes were bad in any way that's not what I'm trying to say it's just like man it took a really dark turn that I wasn't expecting oh so, like, if you've watched Euphoria, you can expect the same kind of stuff to happen in this, you know? Weird. So, yeah. Yeah. And because the YouTube algorithm searches for certain words, I can't say that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll leave it at that. But all in all, I thought it was a pretty good show. I'll give it... I'll give it a six and a half out of ten. That's what I'll give yeah. it. It was, it was definitely worth watching, but I'll definitely not ever watch it again. Mm. Does it make you not want to be nice to people that you meet? Ooh. No, no. No, no. It makes you... It definitely, like, kind of t- like teaches you, it's like, okay, like, if you have zero feelings for this person, it's like, hey, you gotta be, gotcha. like, you gotta be straight with them, kind of, in a way. But Set expectations, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. it makes sense. So but, why do they call him Baby Reindeer? Uh, that is one of the things that you find out in the very uh, final episode. Gotcha. She calls him Baby Baby Reindeer. Okay. Like, I mean, it's definitely re- like, like you find out like the whole, it's, Baby Reindeer gets brought up the whole entire show because she uh. calls him like, oh my baby rain, my baby reindeer. She's she's Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, like in the final episode, you find out. Like, why she calls him Baby Reindeer, and it's fucking sad. Oh. Like, the final two episodes, like, really, the final episode is really, really sad. But, yeah, I don't know. You got, you got, like, you guys, I can tell you guys wouldn't be into the show because it's it's a straight up bummer of a show. (laughs) You know, we love that. (laughs) But the the first first three episodes are, like, kind of riveting. Like, you get, you get sucked into it. You want to see, like, man, how crazy is this? shit gonna go but then like and in the fourth episode it kind of takes a u-turn starts going into more backstory she does get a little bit more crazier but it's not like something like you you want something like horrific to happen that's what i was waiting for i wanted something i wanted her to go full bore like i said she went full bore earlier i wanted to go like (laughs) i wanted to take the next step into like Mm -hmm. murder you know that's what i wanted I wanted to get taken to that next step of like, okay, she's got your parents now. (laughs) (laughs) 
that, that would be different. I just wanted I wanted it to get ramped up. That's yeah. I was like, okay. I feel like it got, like it got to this point, and then it was a lot of like up to third episode, and then a little bit of a curve, and then a lot of just flat before mm, yeah. it finally like was like, okay, there's the ending. Mm. Mm. Okay. Which resulted in your six and a half. Yeah. Which could yeah. See, resulted could in my six that. and a half. Yeah. Got you right there, but couldn't couldn't get you past that that point. Just right on the edge. Yeah. If she would have killed people. Yeah. <laughs> <this morning. laughs> yeah. Not crazy enough. Yeah. 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 It it becomes like at the end of the like the season, it's it's a type of crazy that it's like you just feel sorry for the person more than anything. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, she was crazy. That would have driven me up the wall. But at the end of the day, even though she is crazy and all that, you still just feel bad. Uh, so. Mm. That's all I got to say about that. Cal, <laughs> mm. uh, what's going on in your week? Man, I've watched a couple things and I've seen a couple things and, and I've done see- a couple things. Skip it. Two of everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so I watched a couple movies that are old that I've never seen before. I watched Event Horizon. Mm. Nice. That's a good one. That movie was interesting AF. It is interesting. I, it's. I don't want to say it's a great movie, but it is a good movie. It was one of those movies where I, I've seen bits and pieces of it throughout my life. As I was watching it, I was like, okay, I've seen that. I've definitely seen that. And then I, uh, Sam O'Neill, is that his name? Yeah. Sam Neil. Sam Neil. Sam Neil. Yeah, I've, the scene where he's like got no eyes or whatever. <laughs> I was like, crazy, I was dude. like, I've definitely seen that before. Yeah. yeah, dude, that that was intense. Yeah, that movie is nuts. Sam Neil is fucking good in everything he's he in, sh- man. Dude, he really is. He he's he's like um he's like William Defoe. He's like uh what's Gary uh, Oldman. Gary Oldman. Uh, uh, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Yeah. Uh, there's one guy that's on the tip of my tongue that I'm. <clears throat> Uh, he's it. He's the ghoul. He's the ghoul. Walter the ghoul. Goggins. Walter Goggins. Just mm. guy. People that amplify whatever they're in, <clears throat> make whatever they're in better. Mm. But uh, yeah, that movie was wild. Then I also checked out Jackie Brown. Finally got around to that. Totally thought it was going to be a different type of movie than what it was. I don't know why I thought it was going to be different because it's just like any other Tarantino movie. The movie's a 10 out of but, 10. I love but, it. But before I watched it, I never seen a trailer or anything. I had just seen the name and based off the name thought it was going to be a... Tar- I, I don't know what I thought, but like as I, as I watched it, I was like, this is a Tarantino movie throughout and it, I, I liked it a lot. It was really good. Mm. Um Definitely have some, some crazy murders happen towards the end of the movie that are just like, what the hell? Like, especially <laughs> the girl in the parking lot and like freaking. If you say one more word, one more word. Okay. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Robert De Niro character in that movie was interesting. Yeah. Really good movie though. I enjoyed it. His death at the end was crazy as well. Um, I also checked out the newest episode of The Acolyte. Pretty good. Um, it's better than the first two, I would say. The third episode is definitely better because it's starting to get into the story and, and I think there's going to be more episodes that show different points of view. Mm-hmm. So obviously, because I don't know if you, has, have you guys watched it? Mm-hmm. Third yeah. episode? No. Oh. Okay. It's pretty good. I'll check it out still. It's still a good show. You know, they're going to, you know, whatever. More Carrie Ann Moss because it's like bat in the show stuff in the past. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, you know, she's great. Trinity is always good. Trinity, yeah. yeah. Um, good times. <laughs> <laughs> Never really got to talk to you guys about Fall Guy. So good. Is it good? Have you guys watched it yet? I watched, watched it. it yeah. I've seen 10 minutes of it. Dude. I'm a Gosling fan. It's great. Yeah. There was parts where I was laughing so hard. And there was parts where I this like the stunts were so badass in that movie. Um a lot of slow motion. Uh, a lot of slow motion. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, it was just an overall, just a great movie. It was a little, it was a little long. A little long. A little long. <laughs> <laughs> Get but, a long little dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, it was good, man. Uh, I definitely would give it probably about a nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Yeah. It's one of my it's definitely gonna be on my list. That's what I like to hear. It's a good long and 
Yeah. Log in. I'll definitely good watch one. it. Summer Hottie. Summer Hottie. I recommend it. Uh, also been playing some god awful disc golf recently. Mm. Some of the worst disc golf I've played in a while. Just my putting is just really bad right now. But it's something that I know I'll overcome. Yeah. You will. Because I'm seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it today. I was like, man, I've been playing for 13 years, dude. That's a long time. Real long time. Connor, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a week. <laughs> no, uh, also, uh, that new Justice album dropped. Like I was telling you guys, first half of the album, great. Second half of the album, not so good. Uh, but it's new Justice. Do you think I would like the second half? Maybe. Just listen to the album. It's it's short. Yeah. It's it, it's worth I a do listen, need to to. listen to. It. I'll probably listen to it on my way home. Yeah, it's worth it's worth at least one listen to. You'll find a couple songs in there. You're like, oh, that song's dope. Like that song you were listening to earlier. It's called Never Ender. Sick song. Yeah, I saw that the first song on it was called Never Ender, and I was like, Coheed, but <laughs> card. Connor, over yeah. to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, same as Kyle. We've been playing disc golf more often now that it's not been raining, which is nice. So it's just been nice getting out. Um, still jogging every other day. But today I didn't do it because my my legs hurt. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'll just take the day off. But I'll be I'll be jogging some more tomorrow and all that. But uh, yeah, it's it's been good. Um, play games, <laughs> eat food, go work. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's my life, man. My life is good. Um, but yeah, I've been uh, riding a scooter around. Rode it today. Um, Man, NBA Finals has been going on. It's really disappointing. Uh, <laughs> That's the most disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, I get hyped up for, like, the last series of the year, and it's like, man, it's really going to be a sweep, apparently. That's the way, it, the way it's looking. But By the time this comes out, it'll probably be over. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I hate you, Celtics. Uh, mm. I hate them. But, yeah, <laughs> happy for my dad. Yeah. If they do end up winning. If but I mean, even, Mavericks in seven. I mean. If he even cares. <laughs> yeah. he, wears, he wears the Celtics shirts. I think he cares enough for that. That's so. true. And shout out to Brian Davis. Big, oh, okay. He's a big Celtics fan. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Brian Davis. Friend yeah. of the podcast. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> for him. Just him. Yeah. When those we love win, we all win. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> powerful, powerful words. Yeah. Um, yeah, just uh, thinking about uh, ways to save money, make money, um, considering putting up a vending machine somewhere. There you go. You know, somewhere close to home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was into it. I was like, "All right, what are we put? What are you putting in the vending machine? Yeah. Vending Shirt. machines, Shirt, shirts, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like single use shirts, single. <laughs> you know what I'm edible shirts." Hey. Ooh, yeah. No, 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 just single use shirts. You, can, you shouldn't eat these shirts, <laughs> Jack. You don't eat these like, shirts. Like you don't, you just like, and then you just it's done with. Yeah, yeah it'll be like. Uh, Similar to like a throwaway like uh, smock, you know, <laughs> but it'll be like a shirt. <laughs> and then we'll also have a few in there that'll be like used shirts that I get for free, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. from yeah. Goodwill, sneaking them in, yeah. Yeah. you know, walking out of Goodwill, get my free shirts. Um, yeah. That's a crazy uh, ass it, idea. It's a pretty good yeah. business strategy. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm hustling. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I saw you could you could um, just keep tying the shirts into knots, more knot, more knot, more knot, and then you can get them real small, and then you can put them on like little clothes hangers, and then they can just spin, and it'll be kind of like a mystery thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and you can fit way more inventory in there if you just wrap them up into a small little ball. Okay. Yeah. Vacuum seal them. You vacuum seal <laughs> them into small little squares, dude. Okay. Okay. Put them in a claw machine and put like a thousand points on the outside of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I like it. <laughs> so they're getting a shirt and a thousand points, and I'm getting yeah. all their money that they're putting in there. Absolutely, all the points, all, yeah. all of it. <laughs> I want to go right the, now and spend I love some money a point on this. system for something to, like you can't spend it on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a thousand points, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the most points. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, what would you do with all the points, though, Connor? Seriously. You don't fucking was, need to do it's anything. not what I would do with them. It's what would the consumer do with the yeah. points. I mean. It's more true. about it's a, more about yeah. a high score than anything. Right, right, right. It's yeah, all I'd, about I'd, the high score. I'd Pinball the, doesn't give you <laughs> shit for points. Yeah. I'd keep all my points on a on a shelf somewhere, you know, and just like, yeah, just have a... A, a point room and that's just, <laughs> a point rack yeah. is what we call that. <laughs> a point rack, yeah. yeah, a point rack. That's what I do with it. It's, yeah, I'm in. I don't want to invest, but I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. <laughs> you want to play? I want to play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Once or twice, anyways. You know. Nice. Not, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I want to see how it goes for a few years. And if it's going really good. I expect to be able to come in, but at ground floor. <laughs> like ground floor prices you know and dude on one of them I'm gonna put trip to Hawaii on there Ooh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, is that the one that's like super glued to the bottom it's not super glued okay. but it'll just have a picture of like like a postcard of Hawaii oh you know? nice yeah yeah I want to get on a, when, when a you start picture to of a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> so a picture thumb. of a postcard of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. That's my. That's my week. <laughs> that's good. Nice, dude. Yeah. I have a feeling you're gonna get rich off this machine. Yeah, dude. I'm already rich, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see these people I'm with right here. <laughs> some some kind of rich. <laughs> yeah, man. We rich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Family. Ohana. Yeah. Yeah. Si se puede. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Obama. Man, you know, you know what really grinds my gears, guys. What's what's, what's that? All right, what's, tell me. Now, you know what grinds my gears? <laughs> what? <laughs> People who don't pay their taxes, right? Mm. <laughs> it's up there. They it's, already yeah. take too much. It's when you're brushing your freaking teeth, dude. No. Yeah. Y'all brush your teeth? Yeah. Yeah, a couple times. And the water starts dripping down your mother freaking arm and gets to your elbow. (laughs) (laughs) It's so frustrating, especially when you have a long sleeves t shirt on. You know what I'm saying? Are you doing it with wet hands? You got like wet hands? How are you brushing your teeth? (laughs) Well, before I, every time before I brush my teeth, okay. I rinse off the toothbrush hardcore. Yeah. Because even because I, I want all the bacteria off there, it's usually hot water. Okay, so yeah. I'll rinse it off, brushing my teeth, and my hand is sideways. Yeah. But sometimes it goes a little not sideways and you. starts dripping down my arm. You know. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's what grinds my gears. Get get a get a towel and just wrap it around your arm beforehand. Dude. You know, and then just tie it and maybe another second towel as well. And that, that should solve huh. the problem. If, if you get three towels, yeah. I Ooh. promise you, you will get uh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Be, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a three towel job right there. <laughs> yeah. Get a, get a, a, a sweatband. Oh. You know? I guess that works too. Yeah. <laughs> my bathroom sweaty. You want, <laughs> you want to know, you want to know my trick? What's your trick? I just brush my teeth in the shower. Oh. Do you, you, do you, you shit in the shower, you brush your teeth in the shower, you're everything. No, I don't shit in the shower. <laughs> I do not shit in the shower. You're just packing the shit down. Packing, right. packing it, <laughs> packing it. Packing <laughs> it. Take this, mom. <laughs> Fall down. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I was trying to stop the poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't poop in the shower. Okay. Yeah. He I cleans, poop, the, cleans the butt in the shower. I mm. poop, and then I go to the shower where they got the pull-off nozzle, you know? I set it to the jet stream, you know, the focus. Yeah, yeah, the bidet. And I, yeah, <laughs> and I, get, and I give my the b-hole a nice power wash. Yeah. Nice. Yes. And then I proceed to just, Yeah, and then I just proceed to go ahead and shower. And then about, like, three or four minutes into the shower, once I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm enjoying the shower, I look over at my toothbrush and toothpaste, and I'm like... It's time to get these uh. teeth clean. And I did what you were just doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so do you only brush your teeth in the shower? No. Uh. So you have a second set? Yeah. I mean, what a freak. well, I've got a second set. What do you mean a second set? A second set of 
toothbrush and toothpaste or you just reach out of the shower yeah. and grab it like you're that close where you can just reach out and grab your toothbrush and toothpaste i can literally stand right in front of my sink and just be like there's my mm. toothbrush and toothpaste out of the shower wow yeah it's pretty easy yeah. that's next level yeah mm. but i mainly like the first thing i do when i wake up is i just bring in, as soon as i get out of bed the first thing i do is i like, walk to the shower because that's like my Freaking helps helps to wake up, you know. That Take, used to be my routine until I really started working out hard. Now I have to shower before bed, dude, because I can't have that sticky leg oh, stuff yeah. going that's on. Stinky. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the stinky and the sticky. Ooh, yeah, I can't have them. I can't have them both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sticky, sticky. It's one or the other. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's stinky. Um, yeah, my problem is different. It's more of a. Uh, drooling yeah <laughs> you know it's like the bottom lip is just like goes down too there. far it's like oh and i'm just drooling mm. everywhere i think those those freaks that close their mouth completely while brushing their teeth are insane uh, yeah. they don't know what's going on in there oh. yeah they, i they, gotta see they, what's happening my dad does that he goes like <laughs> <laughs> you know like, yeah yeah it's yeah wild. i'm more i'm more of like open mouth trying yeah. to get to my molars yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do. My molars are fucked, but yeah. that's why I'm trying to get to them. Yeah. Trying to get to them. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best, sweet molars. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I brush my teeth in the shower yeah. after I shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Shower shit teeth, guys. To be honest, man, a lot of times in the morning, man, I can't shit. Mm. But that that, 30, that thirty minute drive on the way to work well, definitely get gets it going. Yeah, it definitely gets it gets the pipes running. It's not the coffee in the morning. No, nah, I do, I don't drink a lot of coffees in the morning, like on work days. It's moving around. I only drink coffees mm. in the morning, like. Usually on days when I'm off, it's, and the, it's, it's the kinking and the unkinking of this of the this, <laughs> what is it your esophagus or your or not your esophagus sphincter. your fucking sphincter. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the you know, kinking or the clinking of your esophagus. <laughs> it's your fucking, you don't get it. Yeah, whatever it is, your fucking colon. Your colon is. I think it's your colon. Yeah, mm. right. Yeah, your colon. Yeah. Yeah, the kinking and unkinking of your colon. Still tell me what you're talking about. You're talking about like a little pain, like a little... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't a, know what you're talking about. It's like, it's like an L yeah. shape, and then uh, it goes un L shape, L shape. Yeah. Turns blue, has sparkles. What else? <laughs> <laughs> it's talking about like, your, your colon, you know? Like like it's a hose, and like uh, doing this, it's working. Yes. It. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Right. Boopy. Uh, That's why we have the squatty potty upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I really get much problem with that. Uh -huh. Nah. But then again, it's been a while since I've laid out some pretty wholesome turds, you uh -huh. know? Nice, dude. Mm. Mm. We've gone too far into this. What I else? Mean, you, <laughs> you're a dude. Does anything else grind your guys' gears? Anything grinding your freaking gears? Man. Hmm. What really grinds your gears, Jack? Ah oh, man. Anybody else got anything that grinds <laughs> your gears? Mosquitoes, you know? Like I'm just so tired of mosquitoes year after year. I wanna just add ticks on that. Ticks, yeah. Ticks yep. fucking love me, man. Ticks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Any any of those parasites. Did you I'm find any ticks on you guys from where we played uh the Keen Jack course the other day? Yeah, I found one. I found four on me whenever I was looking back. I was like, how how are they out here all the time and how do they know I'm here? I did get I did get some bites on me, but I didn't have any lingering ticks. Yeah. Nah. I fucking hate ticks, man. Yeah. Yeah, you're like a fucking a tick, tick magnet. magnet. Yeah. Yep, man. Those seed ticks freaking Those are the little ones. They yeah. Yeah. They freaking They scarred me, man. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you've got like a big one living inside you and they can sense it and they just oh. keep thinking, Mama. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're so just looking for their mama. Like, the mothership is here. <laughs> Take us. <laughs> Latch on. <laughs> it's, or maybe it's like 
instead of them like latching on to you, maybe you're producing them and then oh. like they're binding you as they're leaving. Oh. I don't think that's the, happening. Like leaving? Like wait. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson only produces them while he's out disc golfing. <laughs> <laughs> they can smell like the fucking pollen and it like activates them. Like it's time. <laughs> Quick, brothers, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> now is our chance. <laughs> <laughs> Leap. The buffet is here. <laughs> Leap out his ball. <laughs> I bet that's what's happening, dude. <laughs> I it is crazy how often they try to just like run up towards my nuts, man. Yeah, I've had to pick so many. Like, mm. thankfully, I haven't had to pick one off of like any of the actual parts in a long time. But uh. the area around it, I found quite a few, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe start. It's always scary. Danger. It's always scary. Danger zone. Yeah. Is is it is it safe to like spray off in in your pants? I, I don't know. I, I don't trust it. But, Bug spray like, in yeah. your genital area? Yeah, I mean, if... I like, wouldn't do uh, it. Yeah, I wouldn't nah, do man. it. No, like, man. I, I nared it once, and I yeah. was like, I'm never putting chemicals down there again. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I used... Uh, uh, I was in Spanish class, and me and this dude were standing, sitting next to each other, and I had a thing of Icy Hot. And oh! That, and he's, like, he's like, I dare you to rub that shit on, the, on, the, on your balls, dude. And I was like... All right, you motherfucker, yeah. and didn't I never done it before? So I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, I had to get out of class, dude." Yeah, I was just like, no "I kidding. can't be here anymore. Yeah. I can't be here anymore." Like, did you have to explain to the teacher? What yes, was I explained on? to the teacher instantly, yeah. and the teacher understood. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I had to go talk to the principal. Like, oh man, that's a whole thing. She, she was, I mean, she didn't quite understand. Yeah. You know, it was enough for me to go talk to the principal. So, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, she's like, I know I see hot, and I yeah. know where you put it. So yeah, yeah. fun lessons, fun lessons. Yeah, yeah man, dude. you only live once. I'm yeah. glad we both chemical burned our <laughs> our own crotches before. Mm. Hey, man, young something we have in common. I didn't know that. I today. think it's very common with young men mm. being yeah. very stupid with their junk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm. always trying out stuff. Yes. <laughs> What's being the shaving cream stupid. gonna feel like? Mm. Ah, this one's got the cool mint thing. Not, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I think every young man's know known what it ah, has known what it's like to try to to shave mm. that area with just like a regular bic razor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Or am I the only one? <laughs> and pulled it off successfully, <laughs> might I add. All right. Respect. <laughs> Not only have I done it, but successfully done it. Freaking pure. Nice. <laughs> back to six years old. <laughs> <laughs> like a naked mole rat. Uh, <laughs> nah, man. Let me tell you, the razor bumps afterwards are the oh, worst. Yeah. Nah. You didn't use aftershave? Mm. Nah, <laughs> man. I didn't know about it at that point. Raw dog in it, huh? Yeah. See, because that was basically the only hair I was growing, you know? Yeah. This was not happening yet. It still ain't happening. <laughs> it really isn't that ha- happening that much, but... <laughs> this, however, is like, <laughs> 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 he's not about getting a transplant. <laughs> That would be fucking awesome. <laughs> Look at all this no. jack. <laughs> You'd go from looking normal to like an Arab dude. <laughs> hey, build us a house, Jackson. <laughs> you got any brothers? Jackson, we we'll call you a taxi to take you to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Connor, anything grind your gears? I mean, if we're going to get into it, yeah. Um, a lot of, like, clothing prices and stuff really grind my gears because, like, everything is so overpriced. I know it doesn't cost that much to make, yeah. you know. It can't. It's stupid. And also, like, having to get to $75 to get free shipping <laughs> from Old Navy or Hot Topic or wherever I'm looking for clothes yeah. is crazy. Maybe I only want to spend thirty dollars and get free shipping. Yeah, you know, yeah. Is, is two T-shirts not good enough for free shipping? Apparently not. No, nope. mm. I don't like it, man. You know. Yeah. Clothes too damn expensive. And Nike 
can go fuck itself. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is like like 10 times way more expensive at least than it or maybe 100 times more expensive yeah. i don't know how to do any sort of math but yeah, yeah. yeah. nike is it's crazy insanely expensive from what it used to be back in the day man yeah i mean like i like i was saying a couple months ago like one of the uh like track suits i was looking at like the hoodie was like 160 Ooh. and then the pants were like 145 and like we're talking about just like a basic like sweats and like a, ho- a zip hoodie, you know? Mm. Like, that's insane. So we need to we need to mar- march on Washington. Okay. March you know? on Washington. <laughs> the Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wherever they're located. Uh, what were the bubble suits that they wear and do? Where's my car? Uh. In protest against the Nikes. <laughs> Is it? Oh, yeah. Wait, okay, isn't Nike in Oregon or are they in Washington? I don't know. They're probably in Oregon, but I was saying kind of like March China. on D.C. Yeah. is what I was saying, but it's just like yeah. I kind of just pulled it's it. It's getting made in China. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll, we'll march on both. Yeah. yeah. We'll, mar- we'll march both. Then, like, did you say we're going to go to China? March yeah, on them? we're marching to yeah. China, too. We'll march right, to China. China's Let's next. <laughs> Get ready, Tiananmen Square. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming. <laughs> For your clothes. Yeah. And then we're going to march Australia. Yeah. Just for the hell of it. Yeah. yeah. Where are we going to march to next, Connor? Brazil! Bob Burquist! Yeah. Yeah, that, that's about it, though. Clothing clothing yeah. stuff has great. been grinding me lately. Because I want to buy more clothes, but I don't want to spend the money. You know? Yeah. The problems you have, Connor. Mm-hmm. And you want to buy quality clothes, too, you know? Because yeah. otherwise you're just spending more money on crap clothes. So it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Low quality. I don't, yep. I want at least mid-quality shirts. And yeah. here's the thing. I don't want to shop hey. on Timu. But every day, Timu is just looking more and more yep. better. What's Timu? You know what Timu is? It's that it's that app where you can just get everything for like five bucks or less. But okay. all their stuff is like so. Yeah, the it's the stuff where like if you wash it, it's forever wrinkled and stuff. Yeah, it's the uh, like uh, like those one time shirts we were talking about for the near vending machine. Okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah. On the inside, sorry, sorry Connor, I didn't mean to ruin your idea. Timu exists. It's gonna be called Simu when I'm done with it. <laughs> C for Connor. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, whenever I see all that stuff, I just it makes me just want to go to like those wherever those like so, like those Ally Express mm. like websites or whatever. And just be like, I'm just gonna start buying jerseys for like twenty, thirty bucks. And even though they're kind of dog shit, like quality jerseys, like fuck it. Like I get a jersey for like the same price as. Or like half the price is a pair of jeans from Old Navy, you know? Yep. And also I get to say fuck you to every single one of those uh, MLB, NHL, every single one of them that have gone with Fanatics over the years. Mm. Okay, yeah. Preach. Fuck Fanatics. Fanatics mm-hmm. sucks. They're also starting to like upcharge their shit and they're the reason why they went with them to begin with is because they, they're the cheapest made jerseys. They're made from the cheapest shit possible. Yeah. And they want 150 bucks for Ooh. them. Mm. And fuck mm. Ticketmaster. Yeah. Yeah. And Live Nation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you need a fucking service fee for? It's all on the internet. Yeah. I don't remember no fucking service fee when I went to... Like shows that actually had ticket like stands that you had to wait in line for. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that bullshit. What service are we getting? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Where is the service fee? I don't know. And then when you go then when you go to the doors, it's five bucks extra because he didn't do it online. Mm-hmm. What? It's like what the what the dickhole is going on? Yeah, what the dickhole? Then you can't leave. Aren't you American people tired of getting fucked in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you look at your wallet and say, "Boy, I'd love it if it was thinner." <laughs> I don't know. 
or turn into the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm turning towards that. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clinton is on an island somewhere <laughs> drinking the blood of a Taiwanese boy. <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I wanted to go down a list of some things uh, that you may or may not know could kill you. I like this. Uh, okay. I think, okay. Every, I think okay. everything at some point can kill you. You don't fucking know that. All right, bring it up. <laughs> Let's go through it. Let's go through it. First one. So, did you know that potato stems and leaves are poisonous? I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah. You eat 3,000 pounds of it, it will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but potato poisoning is rare. Most deaths are caused by eating green potatoes or drinking potato leaf tea. Hmm. Potato leaf tea? So watch yourselves out there. Oh, yeah. Good okay. thing I'm not drinking potato leaf tea. And, um, You're not? Much. Nah. It's not part no. Of <laughs> hasn't entered the diet yet, no. Uh, <coughs> Caleb, does that sound like something that you would do? Um, I didn't know. Uh, I mean, I always figured potatoes had uh, had leaves, but I, you know, I didn't think that they could make it into a... I mean, I guess you can make anything. No. <laughs> that is, that's not something I'd like to try. Oh, guys, I'm going to drink my potato leaf tea. Oh, God. Connor, please be careful. Be careful. Your thing will explode. No, don't do it. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, uh, I, uh, it makes me look at potatoes differently. Oh, okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Are you no longer eating potatoes? Uh, I'm still going to eat them, yeah, but, you're gonna, gonna but I'm going to look carefully. at them different. I got you. I'm just going to avoid green you. potatoes and green leaf potatoes, but yeah. I want to get hardcore on some fries, fried potatoes, yeah. and uh, potato vodka. Oh, yeah. Because mm. it's not the potatoes in the potato vodka that kills you. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so you pretty much just want to live on the edge. You want like a little Russian roulette in your life at all times. Oh. And high starch When you're diet. around mm. potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I carry a loaded gun with me. <laughs> I just go. <laughs> Every morning, it still hasn't happened yet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you know that the pits of cherries and other, and other stone fruits contain cyanogenic compounds that turn into cyanide when crushed? Mm. I did. Uh, I didn't know that about the cherries, uh, the cherry pits. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So, if you ate a cherry whole and it had that in there, would your body be able to digest digest it to the point where it would like activate that, or would it come out your body whole? Uh, is that That's only in question. cherries? Is it in blueberries too? Uh, it, this article. This only said just other stone fruits. Mm. Like cherries. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck stone fruits are. I've never heard yeah. of this phrasing. Me yeah. either, stone man. Fruit. Yeah. But definitely cherry. I know what a cherry is. Definitely. Definitely. Know what cherry know is. Cherry. Uh, yeah. I don't think my body could handle it. I don't know. But I, I think it's you got to eat a whole bunch of those little pit things and they got to be all crushed up. I okay. could be wrong. You know, I don't. Uh, I would assume you're right, yeah. dude. <laughs> you know, but yeah. still. So you I, watch I, yourself around I, this. I feel like I've eaten the cherry pit before, you know, like. Maybe not. Those things are f fucking hard, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Real hard. <laughs> Joe is. Are you scared of them now, Jack? Nah, I'm good. Really? I'm safe from cherries. Not a cherry guy? I was never a big cherry guy, nah. No. Really? I've always liked mm. cherries. Yeah. Especially in a nice 44 stuff. ounce. Mm. Whatever from right. freaking Sonic, the cherry in there. Oh with, yeah, the little maraschino cherries. Yeah, yeah. I love cherry flavored one. stuff as long as it's not the dum dum. The cherry flavored dum dum. Mm. For some reason, that just reminds me oh. of cough drops. Ugh. So yeah, or cough medicine, I should say. That's why I don't like Mountain Dew Code Red. Uh, hmm. It's like ooh, it, is, it tastes it tastes like cough medicine. Tastes so. like cough medicine. I don't get the taste of cough medicine from Code Red. As a matter of fact, when it comes to Mountain Dew, I'll. I'll, I love almost all the Mountain Dews except for the original. Why? I don't know, man. I'm just not a big fan of the original. <laughs> that being yeah. said, if like I came in like after working like 
in the hot sun all day. Don't and I saw, don't and I saw an ice cold dew in the fridge <laughs> with like a nice like sandwich with potato like but I don't know potato leaves <laughs> <laughs> potato <laughs> leaves and cherry pits I was gonna say potato, <laughs> potato chips like crushed in the middle of it you know okay yeah that would be good potato but, pits <laughs> but if I was going to the gas station like I'm never reaching for the original do mm. I you always see, I do always go usually go for the live wire or for the code red oh you're crazy bro but generally I don't go for Mountain Dew in general yeah. so that's fair. I'm always reaching for the root beer, or lately my thing is going in and uh, getting, you know, brisk. The I've been oh, getting their the uh, pink lemonades. Uh. <laughs> You're holding a fake brisk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, get you get their pink lemonades. <laughs> <laughs> we can totally see it, dude. That brisk. Use okay, your yeah. awesome Photoshop skills. Put it here. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Jack. So what's your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew then, Connor? The original. Just mm. OG Mountain Dew. OG, yeah. Nothing beats the original. Yeah. What about you, Caleb? Baja Blast. That's, Dude, that's yeah. my guy. <laughs> you know? Baja Blast is the fucking yeah. best. Dude, I'm so stoked that I see it on shelves, but I Hold still have to resist. Phone. I still yeah. have to resist myself. Like yeah. I see it yeah. every once in a while. I'm like, Kyle, don't. I know it. I know that it's a, that's I can get it whenever I yeah. want now, but I don't need it. Here's the best one though, the Halo Three Game Fuel. Oh, dude, yeah, that's really good. That one was the best one. It probably was, yeah. yeah. And shame on them that they've never decided to bring it back. Every time they decide to do Game Fuel, it's always some other random version of Game Fuel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuckers. Bah. They're grinding huh. gears. <laughs> <laughs> um, really fucking grinds them. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't more companies making uh, scare away sponsorship from <laughs> man. Ain't nobody ever gonna sponsor us, dude. <laughs> You're probably right, except Blue Moon. Blue Moon uh, will sponsor a podcast like this because they're fucking rad. Simu <laughs> might when it when it gets going. Yeah, Simu. Simu yeah, will believe that. Sure. Leader in paper shirts. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was a scream. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I heard it. Sound of. Fact. Fact. Did you guys know that as little as five grams of nutmeg can be toxic? Toxic. <laughs> and cause. <laughs> toxic. And can cause convulsions. When I first read this, I thought it said palpitines, uh, palpitations, nausea, or even death. Ooh, as little nutmeg. as five grams of nutmeg can can be toxic. Hmm. That's wild. <laughs> so, did you guys know that rhubarb rhubarb leaves are poisonous and can cause breathing mm. trouble, seizures, kidney failure, oh. or death, or hmm. or or. Okay, Connor, when's the last time you had your <laughs> rhubarb? I don't think I've ever eaten rhubarb. Yeah, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. what does it taste like? And yeah. rhubarb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think someone offered me rhubarb once, but I was like, I'm not eating that piece of steel. It's like red, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. Um, I was looking this up the other day because I was thinking about eating a lot of chocolate. I'm like, can you die from eating chocolate, right? Mm. Um, turns out you can die from eating chocolate. It is possible to die. But most likely what's going to happen is you're going to eat yourself to the point where you get a really bad stomach ache and you're either going to like start like puking out the chocolate or whatever, oh. like or, most likely. Or you just keep going and then and you just, die. Yeah. You just overpower yourself. Yeah, I just, mean, it's possible. Yeah. Just hold it in. But they said yeah. like, you, they, <laughs> I'm not going to puke this <laughs> out. <laughs> so I'm like, not going to shit around your boots. <laughs> it'll like really mess your stomach up. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the longer you go at it, so you'll have to really want to die that way. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. 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 Someone who drinks a tremendous a lot, of, a lot of chocolate milk in one sitting. That's all I'm gonna say. It's been a while since I drink chocolate milk. Mm. I've had to stop because whenever I buy a gallon, I'll buy a full gallon. And you'll drink it that whole day. I will drink it. I will drink most of it <laughs> in one day. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, I will. I will be holding the. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time, every time you talk about this, man, I just always think about 
Me break like b- bouncing on your trampoline, going into your back door when you were home, getting some chocolate milk and lick on your face whenever you got home and saw that half of it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> and how sad little Jackson must have been, man. Oh. Like, where did my chocolate milk go? <laughs> it, was it, it was my fucking special treat, bro. It was my special treat. <laughs> But dude, those summers I were so hot, and you weren't home, dude. Yeah. And I needed and a drink that so trip, unlocked. That you're always so unlocked. hot. Got to drink chocolate milk. <laughs> God, worst what's idea. What's he got? What's he got in his fridge? Chocolate milk, always chocolate. Oh milk. God. Oh, time to get back on the hot trampoline. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate milk in my belly. <laughs> Maybe land on my neck if I'm lucky. I still think that vault soda was probably the worst thing I've ever drank on a hot day. Yeah, I remember that. I was so dehydrated, needed water, drank that vault soda, and, like, yeah, it, like, made me sick. I was fucking stupid going to the skate park all the time, man. Never bringing water, being like, fucking, here's a, here's my mix of soda. It's oh. Code Red and Live Wire mixed in the same thing. <laughs> or not Live Wire, it was Code Red and Orange Soda mixed together. Oh. Because yeah. it was, like, my version of Live Wire. <laughs> yeah. Did you I guys would, know? Oh, what? I would still love to get that fountain drink if they still mm. had it available. Anytime I go to any gas station that has fountain drinks, they never have code red and um, and orange in the same thing. You can't just so. buy them both and then mix them together at home? Why the fuck would I? No, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> it's not a fountain drink, then. It's a bottle no. drink. No, it's not a fountain. Yeah. It's a bottle drink. <laughs> <laughs> You can't put those two things in a bottle and have them <laughs> exist with each other. It's not how it works. Yeah. It only <laughs> works in styrofoam and ice. Mm-hmm. You're a strange man, Mr. Brayman. I didn't make the rules. Yep. <laughs> God was the one that did. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote the law. I only abide. <laughs> you, you looking at me all funny. Yeah, like what else you got? Oh, I'm I'm done. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you know that raw elderberry contains substances? God, I should stop talking. Substances that can convert to cyanide just as well as the cherry pits. <laughs> what other foods have cyanide, now? man? Huh? What other foods have cyanide in them? I haven't checked that. Anything no. that I eat, I eat a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah. small traces. <laughs> You gonna look up what other foods have cyanide? No, when you started out that you're like, did you know that raw? And I thought you were gonna say the sun god yeah, or whatever. Whatever, like, yeah. whatever the, the power power. I'm like is raw the sun god? <laughs> Welcome to Monday Night Raw. <laughs> yes, yes, he is God of the Sun. Yeah. Yes, raw. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Ra is the sun god? <laughs> and he's gonna kill you. Oh my god. If you try to eat raw, he'll kill you. <laughs> oh my god. I'm glad that Caleb also thought he was gonna go with the yeah, Egyptian yeah, thing. I thought so. I thought we were going Egyptian god there, but uh, yeah, it, it it was a it was a roller coaster. Yeah, dude, it was. It was a I didn't even coaster. hear what you said like elderberries or something. Or? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought elderberries cool. was poop. Hey guys, did you know that people who are allergic to peanuts, if they eat peanuts, they'll die from those? Oh, dude. what? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's on this fucking list. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. Maybe, uh, maybe if a nut can kill you, you're supposed to die. You know? Knock on wood. Yeah, that's all I got. So uh, I want to I circle back to the, the fountain drink. You're talking about mixing them, right? Yeah. So why can't you just have like a case of orange and a case of red and then still get the fountain drink of that color and then bring it back and then pour the other one in it? Yeah. That would be that's that would be like a compromise for, for you for, for that. That requires you to go to two <laughs> locations if you want to get fair prices. <laughs> okay. How much are you willing to spend on these fountain drinks? <laughs> like, like 
No, just keep it just case. The, <laughs> only when it's convenient. Okay. <laughs> you know? I'm about to make it stop by, uh, what's that place? Q-Trip or whatever it's called? Yeah. Yeah, I might make a stop by there, see if they got that thing going on. Yeah, and not sleep Cause tonight. Because I'm, pr- I'm kind of hungry right now, and that, since I said I've been eating hot dogs lately, <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't. But after I said that, I kind of want to go there and be like, man, I want to eat some hot dogs. Yeah. Were you lied to us on this podcast? Oh. You haven't been L- eating hot dogs? You haven't been eating uh-huh. hot dogs? I had a hot dog last week. <laughs> Actually, no, it was a hot dog. Yeah? Yeah, I mm-hmm. forget. It was a special kind of hot dog. I so forget was, what kind of hot dog it was. It I got wasn't that and a jalapeno cheddar sausage. Okay. So mm. you you mean you have been eating hot dog recently? Yeah. No, I've had dogs. a hot dog recently. Uh. I've had a hot dog recently. Is it just one or? Hey man, hold up right now, dude! Don't point a gun at my brother. <laughs> I believe you, man. I believe you. Yeah, it was right after we went and played Chiltzer. I stopped at that come and go that was on the way home, and I was like, I'm so hungry, I'm eating, I'm eating two of these bitches. Yeah. And I also Great got idea. two of the brisk. Fucking <laughs> 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 brisk? Yeah, the brisk. I got two of them. Because <laughs> usually, if you can find them... Not at every gas station, but some gas station. <laughs> you get two for $3. <laughs> I just want to go, I just want to act manic for a second. You get two for $3. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> ha. Man, I used to not want to get that deal, but anytime I go to the gas station now, it's like, it seems stupid not to get that yeah. deal. Two for like three dollars or whatever the yeah. deal is. It's yeah. like, it's like, man, these things are so expensive on their own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you got to get two. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. probably something you already buy frequently. Might as well have that other one so it saves you the trip next time. And then they got them Slim Jims right there. You got to grab mm-hmm. one of them. Yep. Gotta, yep. Yep. Yeah. You got to yeah. get the Slim Jim. And you got to get the Cheese Whiz to dip it in. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 there's definitely one version of cheese I've always hated and it's the kind that comes out of an aerosol can so yeah man I, is that considered cheese like, I don't know what it is but not, I like the bacon not, flavor one be cheese, it's yeah. the, the bacon flavor yeah. one I've always thought was tasty as it's well. like it's like a whipped cheese product of some kind yeah it's yeah. whipped for mm. sure I can tell you yeah. that it's Soy protein, probably, or something like that. That's probably what I'm going to guess yeah. the first ingredient is. Mm. But then again, a lot, lot of cheese that we eat isn't real cheese. That's true. Kraft. Not real cheese. I don't eat that. I'll put American cheese on some stuff mm. for a mouthfeel type thing. Yeah. Like cheeseburgers, I think. Even though like I used to eat a lot of like real cheese <laughs> on my cheeseburger, yeah. I think American cheese honestly just tastes better. For yeah. some reason, I don't know why. I'm a pepper jack cheese guy. Yeah. If if that's an option at any burger place I go to, it's always I'm always going pepper jack. Yeah. I like a good Swiss. That's, Swiss is my yeah. favorite. Swiss. Word. <laughs> Are you a ham and Swiss kind of guy? Uh, I like a good ham and Swiss, yeah. but man, my my favorite is a uh, uh, a Reuben. A Reuben. But a Reuben. I like Swiss on my Reuben. A Reuben. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like Cubans. Yeah, with uh, with uh, yeah. Cuban is good, man. It's good. That's my go-to sandwich. I don't think I ever put any cheese on it. If it would it be like smoked gouda or something? But yeah, mm. it'd be my choice. Man, I'll just talk about food. Yeah, <laughs> is that your favorite? Is that your favorite specialty sandwich? Uh, Cubans? Oh yeah, yeah. That or uh, yeah, my go-to sandwich though is a club. Yeah, classic club, mm. uh, turkey club. Do but, you like it grilled? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, grilled, yeah, yeah, yeah a little light seasoning, some uh, <laughs> fried in butter, grilled in butter, yeah, yeah, super, super tasty. I'll always go Italian sub. Usually, oh, yeah. as my first choice. A lot of that classic. juice, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Italian dressing is what it's normally, or some type of vinegar, like red wine vinegar, or something. toasted, too. toasted, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, to perfection. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cutting the thirds or two, ah, yeah. uh, dude, at least two. 
Oh, <laughs> is it the sideways? Is it the sideways cuts to make it uh make it you know fancier? Oh, to fit in my mouth easier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just how I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, good. <laughs> that's the that's the that's how we sandwich. Oh yeah, yeah. that's how yeah. we sandwich. That's how we make you sandwich know? ours. Yeah. yeah. How do you sandwich? <laughs> Honestly, my favorite is is just basic bitch, <laughs> white bread, turkey, cheese, potato chips, mm. and a very light uh, mustard okay. for. Just a very light thing of mustard, just for a little bit of mustard taste. But yeah, mm. what kind of turkey? Uh, man, I like. I usually like to go with uh, mesquite. Oh, yeah, mesquite turkey. Do you get the, like the cracked pepper turkey ever? That cracked pepper is great. Good. Love yeah. me the cracked pepper. Okay. There's one. Ah, uh, man, I forget. There's one like same like uh, turkey that I got one time that I didn't like that much. I think it was like. Ah oh, man, I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was called. It was like it had like a tomato flavor to it, you oh, know, like a, like a sun dried tomato type. Yeah, like a sun dried tomato. Okay, to- yeah. It, yeah. I was like, Ugh. wasn't a fan of it. Yeah, I stay away from that type of meat. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> How many people are you think in the world that are out there right now calling it misket instead of mesquite? Oh. You think there's a lot of people that call it misket? <laughs> a I- lot of our listeners. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, um, a maybe handful. a few, but I mean, it's yeah. a common word, you know. So I think I think not not too many. Say under twenty percent. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that's fair. Between one and a hundred thousand, somewhere right around there. And how many okay. people out there you think are saying biscuit instead of biscuit? This is zero. <laughs> <laughs> one right here, <laughs> biscuit. <laughs> I mean, those are the things. Uh, how many? Re- uh, <laughs> Everyday people are <laughs> saying yeah. biscuit. Um, Bisquit. I bet if you look around for enough people with hair lips, you'll find, probably find someone. <laughs> oh, oh, love, love, bro. Bro. You'll love, love, I'm just dude. saying, you'll find someone that's like got a <laughs> no lower jaw or something. My chest. <laughs> 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 Just some, just some food for thought. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. We hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys want to go ahead and move into yo, dude? Check I, this out. I, yeah. Yo, dude. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Uh. Yo, dude. Check this out. Um, in 2011, an entire country lost internet access for about 12 hours after a 75-year-old woman just accidentally broke a fiber optic line in, like, with her shovel. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Dang. An entire country. That's wild. From this one little... What yeah. country was it? Hold on, hold on. Uh, That's why there's rules and laws. Yeah. Dig ah. safely. It's, it's the, the law. law. It was Georgia, the country. Oh, wow. Not the state. Yeah, the Georgia, Georgia, the country. Over there, uh, south of Russia. I wonder if it's actually pronounced Georgia or if it's like Gojira or, <laughs> <laughs> or Georgia. Mm. Gorgia? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. Do you guys see that there was a possible big epic game store data league of all of a bunch of like unannounced pc games no mm. one of them was a final fantasy 9 remake which would be dope did it say when uh no this they just saw that all these names in the database okay mm. um one of them was the last of us part two coming to pc which duh yeah. but yeah. the rumor for that is that it's been done for a long time no kidding. Like months and months and months. Just to make sure that it's going to be good when it comes out? No, probably storing it for when The Last of Us TV show, when season two comes out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, they so they're, yeah. they're just banking, yeah. banking it. <laughs> so they've had it done for a while, but they're not going to release it 
in yeah. a good condition. They're just going to hold on to it until... Odds are it's in perfect condition. Yeah. If, if they've been sitting on it for this long, odds are it's good. But the first one came out in really rough condition on PC. It still is not in perfect condition. Right. But uh, there's uh, other games that were like there's like a Turok was listed on there and uh, just what? a couple yeah there's just a, a few other games but uh, it was just something I thought was interesting yeah a little, I little, saw, little interesting I saw that one of them was the first Red Dead Redemption PC port yeah oh, okay or there's yeah like a that's code. on here yeah that's one of the games on the list Red Dead Redemption nice yeah I would actually love to go back and play that first <laughs> one but I would. I would want to remaster, man. I wouldn't want to go back to playing them PS2 graphics. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. I feel you. Yep. Yeah. The only games that I like to play, like as far as PS2 games go, they're like they're very arcadey, you know. Mm. Twisted Metal, Frogger. Oh yeah. Stuff like that. Man, did you guys see that Vim Vim's Lair got hit? Oh yeah. Pretty hard. I take down uh, a bunch yeah. of Nintendo stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it, like S- Sony, Nintendo, Sega, like they all were like, boom, they got Vim's Lair like one time. So like tons of Vim's Lair, like that's a huge website for getting ROMs. Oh, okay. And fuck, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to find another site now. They cracked out on them. They cracked down. Yeah, yeah, man, they're trying to get a lot of them, <clears throat> and all that does, man, is it just it just messes with preservation of video games. Yeah. Because a lot of you know a lot of these games don't get remastered, don't get ported to a new system. So if they're yeah. stuck on old consoles that no one has, mm-hmm. ain't nobody got a PS One. Nope. It's messed. Yep. It's messed up, dude. And it's not like they're making more PS Ones, more PS Twos, and all that. It's, yeah. Right. They're yeah. They're not meeting any demand for it. So. Mm-hmm. And they're not. They're not doing any backwards compatibility. You know. Look like any of the newer consoles, so yeah, it's a, man, it's a really big problem, dude. That sucks. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Luckily, em. I have been amassing a fat collection for a long time. So I really wish I would have gotten some PS2 games now, because mm. I don't have the PS2 <clears throat> emulator. I've only got the PS1. Yeah. But damn, shame. now that they have done that, I will make it my damnest to find another website. And continue to keep doing what I'm doing just to say fuck you to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably listed on the uh, Internet Archive or whatever. Or some database. Yeah. You can't get rid of that shit. Once it's on the Internet, someone else The files are out there. The yep. files are out there. They're out there. Uh, yeah, dude, check this out. Um, the new season of the finals, I think, started today, right? Oh, really? I, I want to say so, yeah. So check that out. It's got cool samurai stuff. I'm oh. going to be playing it. You'll see me on there. <laughs> Sweet, I can get yeah, back in the finals. Gamer tag, uh, yeah, streamer boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> I could definitely get back yeah. into that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, I think there's like 5v5 game modes now, so we're going to try to get some Ooh. bigger crews together. Mm. Who is we? The Kobe squad, boy. Did you already talk to people? <laughs> the crew. <laughs> I do still have that game downloaded, but yeah. New season, Jack. Yeah. New season of the finals, new season of Helldivers, well, oh, new, new yeah. like past thing on Helldivers. Not really new season, season of the boys, man. New season of the boys. Oh, yeah. Me and Jackson watched first episode of that. Yeah, it was fantastic. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Very good. Yeah, pretty, pretty, good. pretty good episode for mm. setting up what's to come. Has there been any anything in that first episode that references what happened in, in the, the previous show? Gen V. Gen, Gen v? v? Have you seen no, any characters? Not yet. Okay. No. Because I was wondering, like, while watching that first episode with Connor, I was like, man, I wonder if I'm going to see anything that he's not going to get, oh. you know? Mm-hmm. And no, there was no, really no mention of the Gen V stuff at all. Yeah. You see that, so. you see that one chick who can, like, mess with people's brains and make their blood squirt out of their head? Yeah. She shows up in that Gen, in that Gen V show, so oh, I just yeah. wonder how they're going to connect all her and with that and this. You talking about the blonde chick? No, the or... brown hair girl that makes people's heads explode. Oh, uh, the politician lady. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, but she was in the boys before Gen V, so I know that. I'm and just seeing how up. her connection is going to be to the old Gen V stuff and the new stuff, and you know. mm. yeah, yeah. I'm definitely curious to see like what her role in this whole show is actually going to be. Because right now, you, like, you, I don't really know to tell if she's, like, 
uh, you know, an anti-hero or a supervillain, you know? It's hard to tell, yeah. A politician. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. Uh, U.S. Cellular will be no more in 2025. T-Mobile is buying them out, and they're going to be gone. So, what you guys got go. Sprint? You guys got U.S. Cellular? Yep. So U.S. Mm. Cellular, cellular is the one being bought out yep. now? Yeah, okay. we're going to buy them out. So Damn. it's going to be just T-Mobile and AT&T, pretty much. Yep, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. And then, uh, wow. Yeah, so, uh, you know, be prepared to Monopoly in 2030. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was my head, dude. It was uh, crazy. Dude, did you hear that Sony is, I think they bought Alamo Drafthouse? The whole, ch- like, the chain? Really? Yeah. Like, there was something hmm. that uh, they over... They changed the ruling where, <coughs> like, production companies couldn't own movie theaters for a long time. Yeah. And they changed that ruling, so now instead of Sony buying um, Paramount, they're just like, screw it, let's just buy movie theater. Yeah. And they bought the Alamo Draft House because Alamo Draft House was already, gonna, was already going bankrupt or whatever. Yeah. So they're like, screw it, let's just buy them. And... Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That yeah. is crazy. That's yeah. awesome, though. They'll well, definitely save money yeah. putting their own films out in there. Yeah, put their own yeah, films out. Th- they can make money off of other companies. Arcade is just a bunch of, you know, old school Dude, imagine games. Dude, if, <laughs> imagine if they were to create a movie theater where they aren't going to charge you an arm and leg for popcorn and mm. soda and all that. That's yeah. what I was about to say. Um, one of the executives at Sony was saying with the purchase of Alamo Draft House, that was one of their main like they they th- they think, you know, with ticket prices being so high, that's why a lot of the reason people don't want to go see movies, which is totally yeah. correct, man. Yeah. There's a reason why I go to the cheapest theater in the whole area and see movies for six dollars because I will I, I'll see it in crappier vision mm-hmm. so I can just go see it, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to see that premium experience because it's too freaking expensive, dude. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, mean, I don't. I don't yeah. mind paying ten dollars a ticket. The only thing that yeah. pisses me off is you go in there and you see like, because I mean I understand why concessions cost so freaking much because that's basically how the movie theater makes money because they don't right. make money off ticket yeah. prices. But yeah, it's it's bullshit. Like you're gonna try to charge me ten bucks for popcorn. Something I can, I can take that ten bucks, go buy so much fucking popcorn with it. <laughs> I could kill everyone behind the counter with the popcorn I could buy <laughs> with ten bucks. That's <laughs> how much popcorn I, I can get. Popcorn, yeah. Especially at wholesale prices like they're getting. Oh yeah. Yeah, you could probably kill <laughs> yeah. everybody in the whole movie theater. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Two, two to three mm-hmm. times over. Ten yeah. bucks. The whole yeah. city. Bucks. Yeah. How many knives could you buy for ten bucks? Oh, yeah. oh man! And how many buy- people buying counters could you get? <laughs> Connor's trying to sell knives right now. <laughs> it all comes back around in the beginning of the podcast. He's talking yep. about making money. Yep, selling knives, dude. Selling knives. Forged or fire <laughs> has taught me. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, uh, the the big uh, people are saying like well what it like well, are, are other production companies going to allow Sony to sell or to you know show movies at their movie theater you know mm-hmm. but I mean I guess it just depends on how successful they become as a, as a movie theater you know right if uh, they find out there's a lot of success and like yeah well I guess we'll fucking will have to mm-hmm. like Alamo Draft House you guys have never been, I don't, have you ever been there Caleb uh uh-uh. uh it's a premium movie experience yeah. No kids. What? Yeah. Hmm. And like if it is a movie with kids that kids are allowed it like if if they're too rowdy or whatever, you can just call the usher and, and they kick them the fuck out. Kick them the <laughs> fuck out. Throw them in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. At least that's how it was at yeah. Avengers in game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. They come in there with two two guards deep, they beat the crap out of the kid and just throw them out. Like, <laughs> yeah. They have like a kid jail <laughs> thing in there or whatever. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they start making them work and shit yeah. <laughs> doing dishes they, they, they waterboard them a little bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> they rub a cheese grater across yeah. their face once oh, or twice oh. yeah oh, it's too rough far, dude too far, it's God. rough dude too I'm too telling you I dog. was about to go too far I stopped myself <laughs> Dude, don't talk during the movie kids yeah. you know yeah. it's yeah. rough in an Alamo draft house <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's rough at the Pittsburgh Theater, too. Hey, man. Oh, every time I've gone, it's like... Kids gone wild. Kids gone wild. It, it's never the really? theater itself. I was like, man, I like the theater. It's the patrons. The patrons that come here are 
fucking shitheads. I've had that happen to me one time, and every time I've been there, it's, it's only that it's one time. Jack. Yeah, it's the one time with Jackson. <laughs> I've got I've got a two movies there with him, and it's happened both times. So at least twice. Did they just like the first movie? Wasn't it a kids movie we went and saw? Yeah, Toy Story. <laughs> the fact it's a kids movie. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna get that at every fucking movie theater you go to. When's the last time you saw a kid movie at any movie theater you go to local? Big Lego Hero movie. Six. Yeah. There was kids making noise in the Lego movie, Jackson. They were laughing. Hey, I, can deal, I, can deal, I, can deal, I can deal with kids watching the movie and laughing. I am fine with that. What drives me, what grinds my fucking gears is when the parents just let them run up and down the fucking aisles. Yeah. And, and basically, Screaming. it's playtime yeah. in the theater for them. Yeah. Ring that, around the rosy. Yeah. Is, is it, really? Yeah. Pocket full of posies. That's Toy Story 4 or 5, whichever one I fucking saw. 4. Yeah. yeah. That's Toy Story 4 for you. It's such a tiny theater that, like, even one kid running around would be a a lot. But there's, like, three or four (laughs) kids all just, like, (laughs) playing tag and shit. (laughs) Slap a jack out and just, you know, let them level them. I didn't have have the opportunity. I didn't have a gnarl seat. (laughs) (laughs) You didn't have your cheese grater with you? (laughs) Rough, Jackson. They're just little kids. Yeah, from Pittsburgh, and they suck shit. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Uh, Maybe they're not from Pittsburgh. They just go to Pittsburgh, but... Because they got low prices. Yeah. And that's probably a good reason why that theater sucks, is when when patrons go, they're like, super cheap tickets. Who gives a shit? I'll come and watch this movie again tomorrow. Look, Mm -hmm. man, I'm a smart consumer. I want to save money. Yeah. So I want a good experience. I have a good experience, but not with you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bring the kids. You're the problem. You're ki- you're gathering yeah. the kids before they come. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> gathering shit. <laughs> Bullshit. I, I was going out a little beacon. <laughs> come on, <laughs> children. Come on, kids. <laughs> it's Toy Story. <laughs> I don't so fucking. St- I don't Toy sound time. the kid horn. The <laughs> There's Woody and Buzz, kids. <laughs> oh, what a freak. You sick fuck. <laughs> Well, this has been another classic episode of Crashing with Friends podcast. I'm like episode an- one hey, I'm like anti pedo. <laughs> I'm like keep them away from me. Fuck away from me. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> I've been Kyle. I've been Connor. I've been Caleb. I've been anti pedo Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> keep them the fuck away from me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an anti Pino Jackson. There's one thing people say about me is I'm I'm, I'm not a pedophile. Thank <laughs> God. As a matter of fact, I'm so so not one. <laughs> Crashing with friends. Oh.